Welcome back. Joining us in the studio is Mariam Hassan, a junior doctor at Monash Health and the director of the ACCESS program offered by non-profit Happy Brain Education, which aims to empower the next generation through free one-on-one -on -one tutoring for refugee youth. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Of course. <laughs> Firstly, where were you working at the moment and how did you become involved with Happy Brain Education? Yeah, so I'm currently a junior doctor with Monash Health, like you said. I'm currently working at Dandenong Hospital, completing yep. my internship. Um, so that's been good. Um, I've always thought that if I didn't do medicine, I'd want to be a teacher. So Happy Brain Education has really been a good way for me to pursue my passion for education as well. Um, the, one of the co-founders of Happy Brain Education, Naba Al-Fayyad, is um, a close friend of mine and was a year ahead of me in medical school. And um, so she asked me if I'd want to be involved and jumped at the opportunity and now I um, uh, get to work with the ACCESS program. Of course. Can you tell us a bit about Happy Brain Education and how the project started? Yeah, so Happy Brain Education has been in operation for about over two years now. Uh, it started when a young boy from Iraq needed heart surgery and the aim was to raise uh, over $100,000 for him to be able to have the life-saving heart surgery in Australia. And um, Naba and Amani, the two co-founders at the time, were thinking about uh, what skills they have and how they can help raise that money and um, they thought that you know tutoring is one thing that they can help with so they started with um, just small tutoring groups and all of the profits would go to, to the surgery and um, in the end they were actually able to raise all the money I and mean, with donations as well um, for that to go ahead so um, that was really exciting and once that um, was so successful they thought well we better not stop you know, what we're doing um, and so they continued and now it's grown into what it has today. That's incredible. One of Happy Brain's flagship initiatives is the ACCESS program. Can you explain to us what it is and how it works? Yeah, so Happy Brain Education aims to provide access to education to people experiencing all kinds of disadvantage. Um, and the ACCESS program focuses on uh, refugees in Australia. So essentially what we do is we provide free one-on-one -on -one mentoring to youths of refugee backgrounds. Um, and essentially uh, with an aim of helping them transition to Australia a bit better and just providing extra support um, so that they can reach their potential. The student referrals often come from the refugee minor program from the Department of Health and Human Services. So case managers working with unaccompanied minors in the community can often refer to our program. We also get referrals from other community-based organisations like Foundation House or the Centre for Multicultural Youth um, who are working with refugees in the community and they can refer to our program as well. Um, in terms of the mentors, they're usually, usually university students but um, can be anyone really um, with anyone who's happy to volunteer their time to help our cause um, and we're lucky to have a really um, passionate group of mentors on board. Yeah. What are some of the challenges that refugee youth face in the education system and how are they countered by the ACCESS program? Mm, I think there are so many challenges. I think, um, you know, coming to a new country uh, often is the hardest thing yeah. about um, for, new, for refugees. And I think, I think um, uh, our, one of our co-founders, Naba Al-Fayyad, she's a refugee herself and um, she said that, you know, the hardest thing about coming becoming a being a refugee is not seeking refuge itself it's starting life anew yeah and um you know i think often you know we have older siblings family members people who we can ask advice for who've been through vce the university system and you know we can easily you know ask advice and they can give us some direction but i think for somebody who is new to the country doesn't know how these systems work they're not really you know, sometimes might not be aware of what opportunities are available and um sometimes need that extra support to, to, to assist them with that, not only academically um, in terms of language barriers and things, but just um, as well just to, to see what other support services are out there. Yeah, just to be that yeah. shoulder, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In what ways do both students and mentors benefit from the program? Yeah, so um, we want our program to not just be an academic service. We want it to be more of a mentorship um, so that they have a role model to look up to. Yeah. And I think um, so often... Uh, we have a wide age of variety in terms of our students. So some in primary school, majority are in high school or VCE. 
And um, so often they need help. They, we can offer help with their homework, yeah. um, but often um, we focus on enhancing their English skills, their communication skills. We really encourage our mentors to help them with things that are extracurricular as well. So if they're looking to apply for a part-time job, helping them with that, um, helping them write a resume, thinking about you know, differences between university and TAFE and subject selection and, um, you know, giving them just a bit, a bit more of a broader perspective yeah. and um, kind of broadening their horizons a bit. Um, one of our students was very keen to become involved in volunteering and um, so one of the mentors, the session that they ran for a couple of weeks was that they would go to the local nursing home and, and volunteer together and obviously that was very fulfilling for of everybody course, involved. Yeah, yeah. so... Um, I think, um, you know, we, we try to, to, to have a, a more holistic approach to, to mentoring, which yeah. is very good. And it seems yeah. to be working out. Yeah, yeah. Are there any students that you've mentored that have particularly stuck with you? Yeah. Um, I think, you know, often, especially, you know, when you're dealing with the unaccompanied minors and they don't yeah. have... Um, you know, a particular student, she, you know, just living with her siblings, didn't have any um, parents here and I think, and didn't really have much social contact outside of school, would kind of go to school, come home. And I think even me just be visiting her once a week and having that extra contact and really seeing the improvement in uh, her English and her essays and her maths and um, it was really fulfilling to me and at the end of it we became friends um, more than anything and I, I looked forward to seeing her just to see how her day was and how her week was and I think um, she craved that extra connection as well. And like anyone would, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What are you personally passionate about education? Yeah, I think education is such uh, an important tool for so many things. I think um, it helps to bridge the gap with any um, kind of disadvantage yeah. and it can just open up so many opportunities, not only in terms of career prospects, but can lead to, you know, someone being in an influential position in society, influ shaping the society we live in. Yeah. Not only that, I think education also is so important in, in fostering a harmonious society. Um, I think it encourages critical thinking. It, um, it allows us to view things from somebody else's perspective. And um, it also fosters self-growth, self-awareness as well. And yeah. I think those things are so important. Yeah. Just lastly, before we have to let you go, for any viewers that might be interested, how can they support Happy Brain or even become a mentor? Yeah, definitely. Um, we're always looking to expand our pool of mentors. Um, we've been lucky to have an influx of student referrals. So anyone who's uh, interested to volunteer a bit of, and has some time to spare, um, please email access at happybrain.org.au or find us on Facebook, Instagram, our website, Happy Brain Education. Um, and also, if you know any students who you think might benefit from the program, um, also feel free to um to, to, to look us up or email at access at happybrain.org.au. We also have a, a, vol a fundraising program that we're working with at the moment um, with, in partnership with UNICEF, um, which is kind of a broader Happy Brain project rather than just the access program. But um, that is focusing on ha creating education camps in refugee camps. So for the youth that are in refugee camps abroad in Jordan, um, UNICEF are working on a project to, to create technology-based kind of skill skill services so that to teach the, the youths there some te technological skills that they can then use um, once they are eventually moved from those camps. So that's one project that we are currently fundraising for. So um, uh, you can have a look at our website if, if that's something that you'd like to be involved in. Of we course, greatly yeah. appreciate it, yeah. <laughs> well, unfortunately, we're running out of time. We're going to have to go to a break. But thank you so much for coming on and telling us all about your passion and your experience <laughs> and for the work you're doing with Happy Brain. It's incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Of thank course. you. When we get back from the break, we'll share some advice from a traveller about the best things to see, do and eat when in Lebanon.